Hey there, crafty friends. It's Hannah at the Doodlebug in Jasper, Indiana, and it's time for our What the Heck Did You Get In Today, Hannah, better known as our What's New Today at the Doodlebug. We got in great restocks today, so I think we're finally almost caught up on a few new brand brand new things that you guys have been absolutely loving. So today, um, that would be, we've got more Doodlebug restocks with that happy healing line. And then we also got in more of that great layering washi tape as well too. So I'm gonna flip the camera around. We're gonna get started right away because we've got four tables full of good stuff for you guys tonight. And then I'll probably give you a little teaser of some of the stuff that's behind me. Right now I am working on the email for all the stuff we're putting on sale for National Scrapbook Day. Um, if you are not local, please don't worry. So we will do in-store sales Friday, Saturday, um, and then we will turn them on to online Sunday, Monday. The reason we don't do it at the same time is if you're in here shopping, you've got it in your cart, and then somebody at home puts it in theirs, and then your card gets charged, and we don't have it. So it just, it kind of gets to be a little much, and it gets to be a little confusing trying to pull sale items while we're having the same sale in the store. So your guys' sale, if you're not local, will go online Sunday and Monday for you guys. Um, so be, be stay tuned for that as well. But I'm going to flip the camera around and we're going to check out what we've got. So we've got two different tables of Doodlebug here, actually, because we've got a restock of Doodlebug and then new Doodlebug over there. So what are we restocking? We are restocking our cute and crafty line. Again, this is one of those evergreen lines. It's not a brand new one, but they're going to keep restocking this line um, until they do a new crafting line. So we've got cute and crafty. Then up next, we've got our Hello Again. This is a fun, kind of everyday, general, all-purpose line. Um, it's got great gold accents to it. And this is one that we've got the page kits and the card kits for. So I think that's why this one has been so popular because those pages that we made, um, they were a doodlebug class. I did not design them. They were not of, of me and my creation, but they are amazing. So stinking cute. Oh, Miss Shannon. Hello, Miss Shannon. All right. And then we've also got the odds and ends for that same line in. Again, these have got that same great gold foiling on them. Such just, again, just a cute kind of home, all-purpose line. I love the little Volkswagen Beetle in there. Do you see the little car right there? So fun. And again, their die cuts are always nice size for their odds and ends. We got that there. Then we are also restocking our Easter line. This was one of their newest lines, and it's called Bunny Hop. So Bunny Hop Collection Kit is back in. Bunny Hop, Petite Prince are back in, and Bunny Hop, Bunny Hop, there we go, if I can speak, use my words, solids are back in too. So pretty much that whole paper line was out, and then we got back in for Bunny Hop, we also have the odds and ends, and that's your great die cut pack. And we've also got, um, oh, bits and pieces for Happy and Healing. That goes over here. So I'll show you that in just a minute. Okay, moving on, more doodle bug. We also have in the um, Alphabet Soup Puffy stickers in Beetle Black. Got those there. And then we also have for the um, Bunny Hop, this is the Springtime Peeps. Just a stinking cute little doodle pop there. So that's our restock from Doodlebug. Other things restock, Graphic 45, the big giant tags from them. Our markers, these are oil-based, so they're not acrylic-based, they're oil-based, and they work great on all surfaces then. So these are great for um, glass, slick surfaces. You can do them on paper as well, too. You can see glass, porcelain, stone, metal, wood, most paper, most plastics. We've got gold, 
white and black in this multi-pack and this one is an extra fine tip so this is like a writing tip so this is perfect if you are customizing something or if you're adding little details they've got a great great tip on those pink fresh we've got back in stock their little ruby glitter drops so there's the ruby glitter drops and then also back in stock these are the matte gold pearls and one side is flat that way you can use them as shakers or you can glue them down to your project stencils so we restocked the stencils we just got in um, this is from the brand new fourth of july line from echo park called stars and stripes forever and this stencil set here is called hope your day sparkles so we've got the star stencils and then we've also got the fireworks stencils. The fireworks are called, well, fireworks sky stencil. I think this is a really fun one. And keep in mind, not only can you use inks with these, but you can also use like your glitter pastes. Those are really fun with these as well. 49 and Market got a few things in from them. The start us off, we've got uh, this summer collection that is called Sunburst. This is a great, great line. Let me get my hand out of the way so you guys can see the 12 by 12s in there. Here are those. Lots of great prints in that. Really fun tropical colors. So that's the Sunburst line. And then we also got back in stock their cardstock packs too. They do great cardstock packs. Um, this one is 110 pounds. You've got 20 sheets in there. We've got black and white back in stock. And then I also restocked other blacks and whites as well. This one here is a not as heavy weight. It's more like a 65 pound. So not a real heavyweight white at all, but if you're just needing a good white multi-pack, this is a great little multi-pack for that. You've got 40 sheets in here. Oh, we didn't get these priced yet. I, I think they're under 10 bucks for this one here. And then this next one here is some of that precision card stock that we love from American Crafts. This is the textured one. If you can see the texture on there, a little bit maybe. And you've got 60 sheets in this one. So we definitely needed to restock our blacks and whites and now we are good to go with our multi-packs. Then the off to school line, we needed, we ran out of this one because first of all, it's so stinking cute. Um, and there's not a lot of school lines out right now. So I love this one from Echo Park. Again, brand new. It's called off to school. So we've got the off to school collection kits. I love those little owls in there. Check out that plaid. I love a good plaid. And then this little one with all the clipboards on it. You're also going to get a sticker sheet in there. We do have the sticker sheets open stock as well. So here's the sticker sheets. Super fun. And now we've added chipboard accents. Enamel dots are back in stock. Frames and tags. I don't think we've had the frames and tags before. I love this one with the little pencils on it. So stinking cute. <laughs> My favorite subject is recess. I think mine was lunch. Nerds rule. If you believe it, you can achieve it. Find me in the library. So fun. And then the ephemera pack as well. So lots of great items in now for off to school. A little more restock for the brand new Crafty Garden from 49 and Market. Um, our bags are nice and restocked now. Got plenty of those. Also the six by eight collection packs. We needed to re-get those. You've got it, Miss Debbie. Frames and tags for you, my friend. I am grabbing them right now. So here are those fun little pages in there. And then the newest color line they did is called ochre 
ochre matches this line beautifully as you can see and probably our best and fastest seller so far has been the frames for that line because they do cross over so well with the crafty garden and crafty garden didn't um, do colored frames they did um just more like an ivory color frame so these are nice to give it a nice little punch of color with your frames as well so we restock the ochre frames another restock for our organization section and i did work on that a little bit again today to restock it even more so here we've got our sue buddy bag back in stock sue is the one that i was telling you yesterday or maybe it was the day before um it's great for your stampin up pads but it's really great for your nouveau drops as well i think she was designed for stampin up pads but nouveau drops work in here perfectly chastity buddy bags I think we finally got enough to go on the shelf for our chastity buddy bags. Oh, we've got California and Michigan here now. And, of course, we've got Indiana here as well. Can't forget my Indiana girls. So this one here is, um, of course, they show the Distress inks. So your Distress inks, your oxides will fit great in here. But also any of your small jars, like your pastes and mousses, those will work great in here as well. Hole punches, we don't keep a lot of punches in stock anymore now that people, you know, have their die cutters. A lot of those basic shapes have kind of taken over, but it's still nice to have a good handheld punch sometime. And especially when you're wanting to do something larger and a few of them. Um, it's, oops, gonna go so much quicker than cranking over and over with your die cut machine. So I still do like to have some of my basic shapes in different sizes. My squares, my circles, those are ones that I use all the time. So we restocked our two, oh, we got Wisconsin on here too. Awesome. Thank you, Hillary, for joining in from Wisconsin. So we've got, um, this one here is a two and a half inch circle. So again, these are nice. And if you see, I'm flipping it over to the back so you can see that you can see through when you're punching. Anytime you're using a punch like this, flip it over so you can line up and see exactly where you're punching. And then you can also conserve paper that way too. Uh, let's see, like a week or so ago, I was telling you that Lawn Fawn has a really great summer release coming through, and you may want to stock up on some glow-in-the-dark stuff, and so we got back in our little glow-in-the-dark pins, so these are like a lacquer pin or a glue pin, so it's going to dry pretty much clear, um, just so you can give a little accent, and so these are going to be really fun around the holidays, whenever you're doing like ghosts at Halloween, um, you know, little bats at Halloween, the moon at Halloween. Um, but of course, with summer, you can do little fireflies, you can do stars in the sky. So all kinds of fun stuff you can do with these. So we needed, we, we ran through our first order already. So the little glow in the dark pins are back in stock. So are our Fisker's trimmer blades. Fisker's trimmer blades have been on back order for a while, and we just got some in the other day, so they must finally be shipping again. So this one has a regular um, blade in it and a scoring blade. Um, most trimmers will come with a scoring blade with them, but occasionally you do lose it, and so then you've got to replace that scoring blade. So the black one does not cut its scores. And Miss Debbie Meyer wants a glow in the dark. Please, you've got it. Our Mono Aqua just liquid glue is back in. This is a good dries, clear, and hard glue. The other day, Sharon asked for craft clamps on the live, and she grabbed our last pack. So we have restocked our little crafty clamps. Um, these are less than four bucks for the pack. I know they're not priced yet, but I know they're less than four bucks. They're a great value for what you're getting here. These are really fun. Like if you're doing mini books and things like that, let this hold your pages together to help you out. And while things are drying, these are great for that as well. And you can see the tips have been coated um, so that way it's not going to like scratch and leave you know metal marks or anything like that debbie wants some clamps you've got it again this is one of those things that you know really just should be in your toolbox um, because whenever you need a clamp you don't have it and sometimes you know you need your hands um, or you want to move on you don't want to hold something while it dries or keep it exactly in that spot so craft clamps are great for that so there are those 
Sticky thumbs, yay. I think this is finally our stack that makes it to the shelf. So if you have not grabbed a sticky thumb applicator yet, grab one now. So what is a sticky thumb? It's an adhesive liner lifter. I, I shouldn't say sticky thumb is their their whole line for all their glues, but this is the adhesive liner lifter. This little guy has little grabby teeth and it pulls off your those hard to get off plastic liners, like off your pop dots, your double-sided tape, like butter. I mean, it does it like it's its job because it, oh my gosh, this thing is amazing. I've used it in a couple videos and I've demoed it in a few videos. So um, let me know if you, you know, we can send that video to you so you can check it out. Um, I think we even did it as a YouTube and a TikTok. Yeah, I think I did. So you can easily find it on the YouTube channel, just me demoing the um, adhesive liner lifter. It is awesome. Like your red liner tape as well. It will peel it off. Oh, yep, there, Debbie Meyer just said, especially good on the red tape because the red tape's a little stickier than everything else. So are my out of town girls checking out? Thanks, ladies. Thank you. Maybe I will see you Friday or Saturday, maybe. Okay. All right, awesome. All right, and then we've got our layering washi. All right, oh, and Paige started one here for me, and she probably left the last little bit for me to do for you guys. So let me, but I'm I'm one-handed back here. Paige. All right, so this needs to line up under here. Ah. So my little jars. Oh, and I see it got torn just a little further over. So this is a new one, friends. This one here is number 101. I think I showed you some teaser pictures the other day with these new ones. And see, it's washi tape. So if you mess it up, you literally just tear it and re-stick it. And again, I'm one-handed, so I know that's not going to be perfect, but but it's very forgiving because it's washi tape. Love, love, love it. Okay, so I know some of this is um, special order right off the bat. Um, so it may, and then what is 100? Do we have 100? Oh, we don't have that one yet. Dang it. Okay, so we did two of them. Oh, Pennsylvania whoop, whoop, is in the house too. All right, so I need to do one for this one, which obviously is some beautiful flowers and splats on here. Number 100, we didn't get that one done yet. We need to do that sample. But we've got layering washies back in stock. Um, what I was starting to say is some of these I know are pre-ordered, special order. Um, so we just, but tell me in the live here what you want because we will turn right back around and hit with another order on these. So first up, we've got flamingos back in stock. Flamingos are number 98. Flamingo to go. Oh, flamingo go go. But these create this awesome flamingo. So there's a flamingo washi. This one is a brand new one. It's number 104 and it's called Storms Always Pass. So pretty. I mean, this is a beautiful, just to even create a background with that one. So, so fun. Next up, this little guy has been so popular. I um, mean, we got a bunch back in, but again, I know there's a bunch of people that are waiting on these, but if you want one of these, still let us know so we know how many to order for the next round. And this one is number 102, Sunflower and Hair. Is that not adorable? Love that one. This one here is the new one. It's number 101. It's called Leaf Out My Book. <laughs> so cute. And look at that one. Isn't that one pretty? Such a pretty one. And, and I think that that would get torn and put down there. Sometimes whenever you do the first one, it is a kind of a little bit of a figuring out what goes where. So, so cool. Then this one here is a restock. Um, it's called Still Unwritten, number 103. So there's that one with the little typewriter. And then this one was the brand new one that we got in yesterday, showed you guys that one. It's number 99, um, Hotline Ring. 
so pretty and then this one here we need to go it's called fly away petal so we do need to put this one together yet but it's got a beautiful floral in there um, and i'm pretty sure we posted that one in a facebook post as well so we'll get that one put together Next up, just a quick little restock for the Echo Park line that um, it's a fairly new line. It's called Have a Nice Day. Isn't it just so sweet? So fun. And if you love the prints in this line, we do have the rest of this line in stock. I'm looking, it is right through there. So I can see we've got a collection kit over there. We've got ephemera. We've got frames and tags. We've got a six by six pad. Let's just walk over there. We're pretty close. So you can see we've got a six by six pad, that stinking cute little smiley face washi, the little smiley stencils, ephemera, frames and tags. I love the smiley face sticker sheet. And then we've also got the um, collection kit there as well. And then now we are restocking, choop, choop, just like that. Chipboard accents back for that one as well. Now go slow so I don't make you guys all seasick. I know turning real quick is not good on camera. All right, and then we also restocked this set here. It's just a fun little alphabet set, one of the thickers, and this one is called, what is this one called? Um, uh, what, sprinkles? That's that just what it's called, sprinkles. It's called sprinkles. Just a good little black font. And it's got a good variety of numbers in there, too. I'm looking to see. Yep, you've got a good good little mess of numbers in there, too. All right. Whew. And now we are ready for our Doodlebug. What is this? Order number four now from Doodlebug. Um, this Happy Healing line is so stinking cute. And, and there are new things in this order that we haven't had in yet. Um, but I'll go through what we've had and what we haven't. So this one here is a restock. So we have had this one. These are the little heart-shaped sprinkles, which match so many other things. I mean, if I just kind of hold it up, Next to those other Doodlebug lines I showed you, they match those perfectly because, of course, they reuse their same colors, which is nice. And then that way you know stuff's going to coordinate from line to line. So we've got the heart attack back in. Then just the regular enamels. These are Happy Healing assortment of sprinkles, but these are just their regular enamel dots. Um, these are the dies that match the stamps. Stamps must have not have been in this order, but there are the dies. That's the stamp set. Is that not cute? So we do have more stamps coming. So if you want to get on the stamp list, let us know. Such a cute little set there. More little sprinkles. These are the Get Well Soon sprinkles. It's a little enamel shapes there. This one here we have not had. Um, I will tell you, we only got in a couple, um, and I, so I wasn't even thinking like when this line was shipping. I think next week one day is like healthcare professionals, uh, you know, a, a holiday or something and graduation going on right now for, you know, nursing students, med students, and just Mother's Day coming up. If you've got a mom that's a nurse or an aunt that's a nurse, any kind of healthcare giver, this is going to be perfect for that. Um, get well soon, sprinkles, you've got it, Miss Debbie. So with this one, all right, Paula, so with this, we had them on reorder. And I called Doodlebug today to get them because I can get them quicker from them. They are out at Doodlebug, but there's more coming. And she said they should be here probably in the next week and a half. So as long as you don't need them, like for next weekend or something like that, I have more coming. Um, I think I've got six more charms on the way. So Paula, I don't have one for you today. Are you good to wait? I guess that is my question. Just making sure it's not something you need ASAP. But look at this. So do you see the little smile? on the scrubs then the little charms here one does say doodle bug then the little pill then the little cross there there's a band-aid behind there the little heart so so fun so if you're wanting a keychain please let me know because what i can do then is i can bump my order up at doodle bug so if we don't need six oh you can wait thank you 
So if we don't need six, but we need 12, that way I can get 12 coming instead of six. So we get enough before they run out again. So they are out at Doodlebug. They didn't even order enough. Um, so I don't feel bad that I didn't because this line is brand new and they're already out. So got those, but yes, I know I showed these today just on a Facebook post and they started going like crazy, which is great. Um, and I called Doodlebug right away and she's like, oh, we are out of them because my distributor is out as well. I'm restocking on the little Doodle Pops. So this one here is the Love You Bunches. Such a great little just a little bouquet there. Now, he does have a little get well soon there. So if you're not using it for get well, just cover that up with a little heart sticker, something like that, and it'll cover it up just fine. The next one here is a little card, little envelope that has the card that says get well soon. Two love you bunches, you've got it. This one here is called get well soon. Then this fun little guy here. This one is called Under the Weather. So cute. I love this little cocoa cup here as well because you could use this for all kinds of things, even just like a friend's card. You know, let's get together. We've got all those great little stamps with coffee sayings and tea sayings on them. And I know I point this out every time, but it just amazes me every time. Look at the little steam coming off with the acetate. I really want to try that now on, you know, some stamps and dies that I have with some acetate to do that same effect. Love that. This one is called Heartwarming, and Miss Debbie Meyer wants one of those. You've got it. So there's the Heartwarming. Then we've got the cute little bear right here. This one is called Bear Hugs. Love him. So adorable. And then... We should have plenty of these now to last us for the duration. I think I got a little heavy handed with these because they were going so quick, but they're so stinking cute. So this one says pill better. Um, and then the little pills with all the little shakers in there. And notice they've got the cute little enamel ones stuck in the back so you can always see them so they don't fall straight to the bottom. Love, love, love those. And you've got little epoxy hearts here and then a little sticker as well. And this one is called, again, Pill Better. Then more of the washi tape that just says get well soon, but it says it in silver foil. How cute is that? Got that one back in stock. Then we've finally got back in all of the die cut packs. So the odds and ends, that's kind of your regular just die cut shapes. You'll take another pill better. You've got it, friend. I mean, we always need get well cards. And so this is such a stinking cute line for that. So we've got back in the odds and ends. Again, you've got your foiling on these as well. 184 in the pack. Look at all the cuteness in here trying to get close enough to where you can see them, but not too close to where it goes out of focus. Then bits and pieces. Paige, put those up front by the metallic um, ink pads on the very, very front all the way. And you can put one, maybe put one up there and then put one by where the glue and stuff is on that shelf, okay? Then this next one is called the bits and pieces. This one is more like your journaling. So you've got little prescription pads in here. I love the little bands. I think these would be perfect in a baby book. You know how mom and dad get the little bands that match the baby's bands. So, so cute. The little clipboards here. So fun. There's foiling in this as well. So that is the bits and pieces. And then the chit chat. I think this has been the line where the chit chat has outsold everything. Um, usually it is the odds and ends, but this one, the chit chat is just so cute. My favorite is that big ouch. Look at that. So you've got ouch, stitches, nurse, boo boo, doctor, um, visit, healing, recovery, my accident, um, surgery, hospital, I can do this, good days ahead, you know, all these fun little verbiage things in there as well. And then all, then there's even, they usually put some fun little shapes in there too. So cute. Uh, puffy icons. 
We've got puffy icons back in stock. We haven't had these to go on the shelf yet. Um, I know one of these was special order, but I think the other two are good to go. So, so cute with those. Um, standalone dies. So the standalone dies, when I say standalone, they don't have a stamp set that they match. They are just regular, good old cut out dies. Um, this one here is called Pill Better. So you can see you've got this super cute little pill bottle and it's gonna make the perfect shaker as well. Would the puffy icons work on a cup? Well, they're gonna work, but they're not waterproof. So yeah, you can put them on there. I just can't guarantee how long they're gonna last. Now, let me jump over real quick, Robin, since you asked that question. We do have stickers that go on a cup. They are waterproof. Um, these are their vinyl stickers. So this one is called All Better. So you've got these fun little Band-Aids. And I showed those the other day, but these here are brand new. We have not had these in yet. These are um, called Happy Pills. So there's the Happy Pills as well. And again, these are vinyl stickers, so they will work on cups. But going back to this, yes, you can put them on a cup, but um, after you wash them a few times, I don't know how well um, that adhesive is going to stand up to being washed. Just a little disclaimer there. Um, with these puppies, they are so stinking cute. Look at the little teeth, and some of the teeth have braces on them. I absolutely love that. Um, then our pill little guy here. Notice you've even got little pills in here. This is, the, this is the other half, so you can make your pill two different colors. Then some little teeny tiny ones, so you can turn this into a fun little shaker bottle. So, so fun. Then we've got this little guy here. This one is called do, 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 Wish You Well. So it's another standalone die. So in here you can see you've got the little mug. Oh, guys, I didn't even notice this the other day when I showed you. Look, this one has the steam in it, just like this one does. So you could make the steam. I didn't even notice it the other day. Holy jamoly, that makes it that makes a girl very <laughs> happy. I know that probably you know seems dumb, but so you can make your own little steam with acetate or vellum. How fun! Oh my gosh. Anyway, you've got a tissue box in here. You've got a soup bowl. You've got the little um, water bottle. Um, you've got band aids, cough syrup, or any kind of syrup, and then the cute little mug. You've got those teeny tiny little arms in here too. So so fun. Wish you well, die. Is this part of my pre-order? I don't know. We will check though. I'm not for sure, Rhonda. I don't know if I had you down for that one. If not, um, we will we will put it in with your stuff. How about that? Uh, let's see here. Six by six pads are back in stock. Um, see, we've got six of those, so that should cover everyone that's waiting on one and have a few extra to go out as well. We've got 12 by 12s. I believe these 12 by 12s friends are still um, on you know pre-order, but we've got a few people a little closer to getting their orders in. This paper line has gone crazy, crazy well. So this is the 12 by 12 collection. And remember we did do some of these open stock as well. We've got back in the petite prints. We've got in, I think this is the first time showing these. These are the mini icon stickers. Haven't shown these yet. So these are the teeny, I shouldn't say teeny tiny. They're just smaller in size than what the six by 12 stickers are. I know quite a few of you were on order for these. And let's check them out. So you get three sheets in here. This is one, and again, hopefully you can see that flash, that glare there, because these are foiled as well. So look, you've got ache be gone, antibiotic, first aid, no cough. Look at the little syringes, the little um, ginger and lemon tea. So fun. These are adorable. And again, you've got three sheets in that pack. So that's the mini icon stickers. 
the essential pages back in stock. Remember with the essentials, um, it gives you just a few papers. So it's not a collection kit per se. You get a couple papers in here and then you also get some classic doodle bug. So I'm going to flip it over to show you. So you've got one, two, three, four, five, six printed papers in here. And then you're going to get um, the one of the silver alphabets, one of the six by 12 sticker sheets. You've got a little brand new doodle pop in there. And then this is where your classic stuff comes in. So then they also throw in some other items just from other lines that match. So you've got this great little set of heart shaped sprinkles from the all my love line and then you've got some ladybug and bond bond gingham ribbon in there as well um paula i believe we do i think we have you down for stamps with the matching dies and the standalone ones as well i remember writing that one down uh let's see here and then we've got back in stock the solids kits Got that in stock again. Shadow box inserts. Again, I cannot tell you guys, I really think if you work at a doctor's office, you know, or, you know, on a certain floor in the hospital, you guys need this for your like little registration area. I think these are absolutely adorable. Love them. So we've got the shadow box inserts here. And then we're back up to Gina K. And I showed you guys that the other day. I do, surprisingly, I still have an intercut left over. So super excited about that. Um, I guess I figured it would be gone by now, but we've got an intercut left in stock. And then these were the ones I showed you guys the other day. Um, but from Gina K, the Let's Celebrate curved floral banner die. The um, stencil that matches was still out of stock and then ornate spring. I know a few of you had asked me to get things in from Gina K and if you did, I checked and they were still out of stock. I know Becky, you were one of them. I checked all your stuff again and it was still out of stock. Um, so if and when I do another Gina K order, I will check once again and try and get all the goodies in for everybody. But I know she's one company that um, her stuff just goes really, really quick. And whew, that that's all she wrote, friends. Oh, I was going to give you guys some teasers. So um, look for the email to go out. But we're going to have some great mega bundles from Simple Stories that are going to be at a smoking hot deal for you guys. This was that super popular line, um, Simple Vintage Berry Fields. So if you've used it and you're hoarding what little bit you have left, have no fear. We're going to have an amazing bundle deal. Um, uh, this bundle is less than $24.25. Bucks. I mean, I think it's like $22.99, something like that. So it's a crazy great deal. Um, wood products, our DIY wood is all going to be 60% off. Little teaser there for you. Um, and None of this stuff is online right now. So just if you go look for it, I pulled and I've pulled it off the sales floor. I know we just had some girls in and they're like, well, we're going to come in on Saturday. What's the sale? I'm like, oh, don't worry. All the sales stuff is, is pulled. So, um, so wood products are going to be on sale this weekend and then they'll go online. We've got these great little, um, craft treasure boxes here, crafting treasure boxes with all kinds of goodies in here. They're going to be less than five bucks. So that is a great, just, I mean, all kinds of fun stuff in there. Um, and then it's also going to be a fun little treasure box for younger crafters as well, too. So if it was me, I would go through and pick out the stuff I liked. And then I would gift all the other stuff that I probably wouldn't use right away to my younger crafters. And they're going to have the best time with that. We're going to have a select, not all of them, but some page kits from 49 and Market I'm going to put on sale. Um, so those are a few teasers, and then there might be a few other things that are going to be on sale lined up for me to reprice them. So all kinds of fun stuff going on. And again, if you can't make it in, no worries. Um, what is left over will, I shouldn't say left over like a bad thing, uh, but what is left will go online Sunday and Monday. Um, and you know what, if we wipe it all out, 
yes, please, and thank you. Um, then I'll just make up new sales to put online Sunday and Monday. So nobody's going to miss out. If you can shop, you know, stop in and shop, then you can shop online and pick up even more deals. So maybe that's, you know, my local girls, you need to give it your all. Um, and that way, wipe all this stuff out. And then we all get a second sale. How about that? So, all right, everybody. Well, until next time, I'm Hannah at the Doodle Bug in Jasper, Indiana. Thanks so much for tuning in. Um, everything you saw here is online, so you can shop at www.thedoodlebuginc.com. Um, and then, uh, hopefully, I'm not for sure, tomorrow might be a little crazy around here, um, but I may see you guys tomorrow. Um, if nothing else, a little teaser of what is on sale. So that I can at least sneak in. We may not do a What's New Live but for sure, um, we will do a little live of some of the teasers and stuff on the sale. What time do we close on Saturday? We close at 3. So we're going to be here 9 to 3 on Saturday. But remember, I well, you may not remember, but I did tell you guys we have a huge um, tour group coming in on Saturday. Could be up to 100 people. I have no idea. And we just had three girls in already because their, their tour... Um, it's, it's like 40 different influencers in different crafting segments. Um, no paper crafting influencers that I, that I know of. Um, but so they are doing a big meetup so their fans can meet the influencers. Um, and there's 40 influencers and so, and then fans. So they could be like a hundred people, not for sure. So we're opening early for them on Saturday. So we technically will be here at nine. It might be crazy though. So that might, you know, uh, maybe come early and miss the tour. But what I'm saying, nine is when they're going to be here. So if you come super early, it might be crazy. I wouldn't get here to maybe like 11, which would be like 10 year time. Um, cause then they should be moving on to their next stop. They've got a time schedule that they're trying to stick to. Um, so I think they're going to like Trader Bakers and then the discount store over there. I think they're doing like Goodwill. Um, they're going to some of the antique picking stores, things like that. Um, so they're doing some, um, you know, different bargain places like that. And then I, I think tonight, I don't know. I know they're heading to Montgomery somewhere in there too. So I'm not for sure. I think tonight is their, tomorrow night they're eating the schnitzel bonk possibly. And then Saturday they're heading towards Montgomery. I think that's what it is. So then they're, you know, heading over there to check out those flea markets, things like that. So, um, Nine just may be a little, little crazy, but that's eight o'clock your time, Robin. So you got to remember we've got that, that time, that time crunch in there, or that time switch in there. So, all right, everybody. Well, again, thank you so much for hanging out with me. Um, I'm not for sure what new goodies we've got up there, if anything. Oh, we, we do have one new order. Um, so if you are still waiting for our Dauber bundles, um, because your color wasn't in yet, we did get another Dauber reorder in. So I will show you guys that that maybe next week if I don't have time tomorrow. So, all right, everybody. Well, again, thank you so much. Have an amazing crafty blessed evening and I will see you soon. Bye.